Hi everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another What Sold video. Today we're talking about the week of July 19th through July 25th, 2019. So I'm gonna talk about my sales and then I'm also going to showcase some of the best sales that I had this week. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have the out of stock option turned on in my eBay store. And when you do that, your sold listings are no longer visible. So that's also something to keep in mind when you're looking up sold comps on eBay. If a seller like me has the out of stock option turned on, that simply means that our items go out of stock rather than being sold. So they don't always show up in sold comps. So that's something that you can definitely keep in mind when doing your sold research. Because if you are curious to know what kind of things I'm selling and what kind of profits I'm getting, you wouldn't be able to see all of that otherwise. That's what these videos are for. So right now I'm gonna take you over to my computer and we are going to check out sales and highlights from the week of July 19th to July 25th, 2019. Let's go. Okay, party people. Let's talk about this last week. Okay, so obviously we could see right off the bat that my numbers are way down. 26.6% uh, to be exact. So I only had $811.97 in sales, but I'm actually happy about this, even though it's lower, because I was actually on vacation this entire week. This was the week of eBay open. Um, so the weekend leading up to eBay open, as well as the week while I was in Vegas attending eBay open, I was not doing anything in my eBay account. I wasn't listing anything new. I wasn't selling offer or sending offers. Uh, basically, the only thing that I was doing was I had planned a sale to run in my store. That was it. I was actually surprised to see it that high because I really didn't have that many packages go out. I think I had maybe uh, 23 packages uh, that were while I was away. So I did have some bigger ticket sales. And so I pulled some of the biggest ones uh, and then some of the listings with some significance to show you. So the first item that I pulled was a bottle of the Good Stuff Conditioner. Uh, it is an intensive nourishing hair cream. And I wanted to make sure to bring this up because a lot of people seem to think that conditioners really don't sell unless they have a shampoo that goes with it. But make sure that you look for uh, key things when it comes to things like conditioners where it says here, no rinse conditioner. This is actually considered a leave-in. So you don't have to have a shampoo that goes along with this kind of conditioner. You can see that it brought in $15.09, which is really, really good for a conditioner in my opinion. Um, after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, my total profit on this item was $7.95. So next up is a three pack of GE refrigerator water filters. Now, what I wanted to talk about with this is so three filters for $28.39 with free expedited shipping. I wanted to talk about a whoopsie that I had. I was actually expecting this to bring in more profit than it actually did. I was expecting that all three of these filters, and now this is a mistake that I keep on making, and that's why I always tell you guys to pay attention to this kind of thing. I expected all three of these water filters to fit in a padded flat rate envelope. And unfortunately, the three did not fit. Um, you always wanna make sure to put items inside the packaging that you intend to ship it, especially if it's something like a flat rate. Because if you think it's gonna fit in a flat rate and then it doesn't fit in a flat rate, you're gonna have to end up either paying by weight or pray that it fits into a regional box, which these luckily fit into a regional A box, so I didn't have to end up doing it by weight, but because it costs a little more to ship it in a regional A box versus the padded flat rate, it did eat into some of my profits. Um, you know, it still wasn't bad. I ended up with a profit on this of $11.27, which again, it's not bad. It was over $10 profit on the sale, but I was hoping for a little bit more like $15, you know, a little closer to 15, but 
but because I had screwed up on that little shipping tidbit, I ended up eating into those profits. So again, always put your items in the package that you intend to ship to make sure that it's going to fit prior to the sale. So next up is an LG refrigerator ice maker. <laughs> this is probably something you guys have never, ever, ever seen me sell before, because guess what? I have never, ever sold a refrigerator ice maker before. This was actually in a liquidation lot that I got. It was just kind of a general merchandise liquidation. And I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Luckily, the information was on the little doodad here, so it made researching extremely easy. So I was able to easily see what it was. I could price it accordingly. And then it only took a couple of weeks to sell. I figured it was going to sit around for a while because I'm like, how many people are buying LG refrigerator ice makers? But surprisingly enough, it sold for asking price. It did not take an offer. Someone just straight up bought it. They actually bought it while I was in line at lunch at eBay Open. Um, my phone to changed and I got all excited in the line. I'm like, yeah, I just sold an ice maker. And people looked at me like I was crazy. But you know what? It's okay. Because this made me a profit of $81.83. And it really made me come out of my comfort zone. Because uh, something like this, I would never, ever, ever, ever want to list. Because it doesn't have a barcode. I know nothing about this kind of thing. And so you know what, though? That's what liquidation does. Liquidation, you just end up getting stuff and you just have to like jump in both feet and figure it out. And I was able to figure it out and it brought me a profit of over $81. So, hey, I like ice makers now. Speaking of being out of my comfort zone, looky here, a Whirlpool dryer timer. Yeah, never in a million years would I have selected to list such an item? Because I know Jack diddly squat about this, but just like the ice maker, it ended up in a liquidation. No idea how it got there. It's not like I opted for dryer parts, but there it was looking me straight in the face and I had to figure it out <laughs> and go figure it was worth pretty good money. It sold for $83.30. Luckily, it did come with a box that gave me a part number. That's where these came from. So I knew exactly what it was, where it came from. I was able to look at similar listings and kind of get an idea of the worth and what it did. I did make sure to put here in the condition that it was open box and untested because really I can't test an item like this to verify that it's working. Um, so I just said the box was open, it's untested and sold it as is. And someone bought it within about a week for the $83.60. Uh, even though it was small, I did still ship it in a priority flat rate in the original box um, just because I wanted to make sure that like we had at least a little bit of insurance on it and the product was treated really well since it was over $50. If anything sells for over $50, I do like to send it priority. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not really comfortable with sending things first class if someone paid a lot of money for them, you know, because I do like having a little bit of insurance on it, and I do feel like items that go priority are treated, I don't want to say they're treated better than first class, but they they warrant a little bit more attention because it's priority. Who knows? It could just be in my head. I don't know. But, you know, I paid an extra few dollars so that it could go priority mail. Um, so when all was said and done, my total profit on this Whirlpool, Whirlpool dryer timer was $60.90. So this item here is a Garden of Life Raw Organic Fit Vegan Protein Shake Mix. Uh, it's the plant-based original, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. Honestly, I don't even know what's in this stuff, but someone sent me an offer two for $30 a piece, which I accepted. So someone paid me $60 with free shipping for two of these and they ended up going priority. It wasn't nearly as expensive to ship as I thought. I think it's because they were relatively close to me, which was greatly appreciated. So after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $33.07. 
Okay, so this item here is a Starbucks mug. It is the 2008 edition of the exclusive Pike's Place Market. Uh, it's It's got the logo from the original Starbucks. Um, this mug was supposedly, whether or not it's true, I don't know, but supposedly this mug was supposed to be exclusive to Pike's Place Market, and that is the only place that you were able to acquire this mug. Well, while my mother was living near Seattle, every time I would visit her, we would always go to Pike's uh, Pike's Place. And I ended up buying one of these for myself. And then I bought one to resell and it sold for $37.89. I actually had this mug. It's probably going to sound really bad, but I think I had this mug for about a year and a half before I actually listed it. It just kind of sat in a death pile. Shame on me. I know you don't got to tell me. I already know. Um, but one of the bits of advice that I has, have is if you go visit someplace, um, try to keep your eye open for things that are exclusive to the area, especially something that could be considered a collector's edition of something. Like we all know that a lot of people really like uh, Starbucks memorabilia, Starbucks mugs, tumblers, all of that. But if there is something iconic about a place where you go or there's something that's, that's exclusive like this Pike's Place Market, that's an, ex, you know, that was supposed to be exclusive to the area. That's the original logo for the very first Starbucks that was in Seattle. Um, so I went ahead and bought an extra one because uh, I intended to sell it. And after this sold for the $37.89, I did ship it in a padded uh, flat rate envelope and it did have a box with it so that was well protected in the padded flat rate. My total profit after shipping fees and cost of goods was $15.69. Okay next up is this Thane, at least I believe that's how you say it, Thane H2O Steam FX Pro. It is a handheld steamer that converts to a floor steamer. Um, again, I took a best offer on this, not quite sure why it defaulted back to the regular price, but I took a best offer of $75 with free shipping. And so this was again something else that came in a liquidation. I had no idea what it was. Luckily, it was written on the side of the box what it was. Otherwise, I would have had one heck of a time trying to figure it out. But it was a complete set. I was able to go to the um, like the original Amazon listing just to confirm and make sure that all of the parts were there. I was able to pull everything out, kind of count out the parts. And it was complete, which was awesome. That's something else that you definitely want to check uh, with liquidation is if you are getting something that's a return or um, something that was just liquidated from a store, overstock, whatever, uh, you want to make sure all the pieces are there. Uh, and this had a lot of pieces, so I went and I found the original listing and made sure everything was there. So that's important with liquidation to make sure that the set is complete. This was, it sold for $75. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $51.26. Here we have a Wingspan Optics Binocular uh, Wide View HD 8x42 Professional Bird Watching Equipment. <laughs> That's all what the title says anyway. Um, so a pair of binoculars, again, came in a general merchandise liquidation that I had delivered. And it was in brand new condition. Everything was there. Um, the box itself was completely taped up. Although, let's see, is it? Yep. The box, um, it was completely taped up. I had to completely open it to even make sure that all of the pieces were there. And they were. Everything was still in plastic. Um, I did end up taking a best offer on this. I actually sold this probably the day before I left for eBay open and someone sent me a $65 offer. And because I didn't know how my sales were going to be for the next week, I went ahead and just accepted the $65 offer. That means after shipping fees and my cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $44.53. 
Next is this tub of ancient nutrition collagen protein powder in flavor vanilla. It was a nine ounce tub, so it was able to go first class. That was nice. It sold for $23.64. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on this collagen protein powder was $10.30. Next up, we have some more condoms. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I've had condoms in every video for the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure. Maybe last week. I know definitely the week before. But condoms, condoms. So two boxes total of 48 Trojan Nirvana collection condoms. So even though I've had condoms in every sold video over the last couple of weeks, these are all different. They're all different. They're never the same condoms. If you notice that, there's all these different varieties. Well, these sold the two boxes for $18.89. And as you can see here, I actually had two sets of two and both have sold. So condoms, who would have thought? So after shipping fees and my cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $8.72. And next we have some more foot and heel pain relief. So this one is a Dr. Scholl's uh, heel planter fasci fasciitis. Is it plantar fasciitis? Did I say that right? Uh, it's made for a woman size five to 12. This sold for $13.19 with free shipping after fees, cost of goods, and shipping cost, my total profit on this sale was $6.81. So just like the condoms, I think I might have had at least one other video in the last two weeks where there was something that had to do with like foot pain relief and shoe inserts. Um, so that's also something to definitely uh, keep a lookout for because people need to take care of their feet, especially if they're on their feet all day for work. Uh, this kind of stuff can sell very, very well. It also sold very quickly. I think I had um, one, two, three, four different kinds of shoe inserts, um, different kinds, men's and women's, and I completely sold all of them completely through in one week. So definitely something to keep your eye open for. And the last item that I have to show you is this orange blossom water. So I guess it is a facial mist for toning and moisturizing your skin. I've never seen such a thing, but it sold for $15.06. And this was something I'm pretty sure was in an unboxing video I did. It did take a little while for it to sell. I think it, I want to say maybe two months. I listed it about two months ago and it finally ended up selling for full price. It did not sell on an offer, so that was nice. Um, so after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $8.45. All right, you guys, that is all that I have to show you today. Please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. That way I know and I can continue to create them. Don't forget to check the video description. I will put some useful links in there. And feel free to comment or ask any questions down in the comments below. And do remember to subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you with my next video. Bye-bye.